Okay, so if you've heard someone saying any of those words, here is a list of gifts that will make them happy. I mean, they would definitely make me happy. Starting with the first thing on the list, the handheld game console called the Ardu Boy, like the Arduino Game Boy, that's because this small chip is the very same chip that's used in the Arduino Leonardo board, and it's using the monochrome OLED display and the extra memory, but you don't need to know any of that. You just turn it on and enjoy those 200 plus games. Actually, this is the older version, there is already a new one, very similar, it's just in dark grey color, and it has even more games, I believe like 300 plus games. And then maybe, just maybe, if you decide that you want to learn how to create your own game for this device, it's actually not that complicated. I have a lot of videos about Arduinos and OLED displays, even some about games, so this might be a good start. Speaking of games, if you want to be really fancy, there is another game console called the Playdate, which I don't have for a very obvious reason, it's just hard to justify the price, but what I do have is the display used in the Playdate, and that's a very special kind of display, it's called the reflective memory display, it's also just monochrome, just black and white, it doesn't even have a backlight, and it's like something between the LCD display and the e-ink display, it's just really hard to describe that display, it's like a mirror, or you know what, it's like the Edge a Sketch game, that's how the display feels like. And I don't have a video with this particular display, but I do have a video with a similar one, a smaller one, a reflective display, and it still looks great. Moving on to the next item in the list, that has to be the Alex Cube clock. They have a lot of different clocks where each digit is made from a small display, that means that you can simulate any kind of digit, and if you want to be creative or perhaps personal, you can create your own digits. And it's actually quite simple, I have tried it in this video, simulating certain style of digits, and then I did it again by generating digits using AI tools, however that was some time ago, so the result was not that convincing, I'm sure that with the current AI generators you can get much better images. Now since those clocks are often simulating Nixie Tube clocks, I need to mention a real Nixie Tube clock. I have one of the cheapest ones out there and it still looks great, I mean, there is this LED backlight and I don't like the mixture between the LED and the Nixie Tube, so I usually turn it off, but otherwise I think Nixie Tubes are cool. I also have a video about how to drive the Nixie Tube from the Arduino, so if you want to create your own clock, you can definitely do that. By the way, if you like Nixie Cubes and want to have something special, then definitely check out the web page of the Dalibor Farney, who is based in the Czech Republic just as I am, and who is producing a new Nixie Cubes. The only problem is that the proper clock with those new Nixie Cubes is a few thousand dollars, but you can get a clock with just one Nixie Cube that's fairly reasonable priced, and you can at least see the quality of that new Nixie Cube, and I have it, and as you might expect, it just looks perfect. The next item on the list is the Dasai Moshi, that Japanese sounding name is a small cute robot head that doesn't have any real purpose, it just plays animations and makes strange sounds, so you either love it or hate it, and if you love it, you can put it in your car and it will be your passenger, your companion, and I have the older version that has to be connected to the USB all the time, but the newer version of the Dasai Moshi has the battery. And I have a video where I have recreated the Dasai Moshi using the ESP32 board with the OLED display, so again, if you want, you can create your own. Moving on, and I need to mention the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay. Obviously they offer PCBs, that kind of makes sense, right? The printed circuit boards, but if you don't plan to create your own PCB yet, they have what's called the module store, where you can get a lot of interesting items like the electric screwdriver, or maybe the preheat plate, or maybe some LCDs and displays, that's obviously my favorite category, so please feel free to check them out, maybe you will find something interesting in here. The next item on the list might not be the best gift, I mean, it definitely doesn't look like a gift, but it's a very useful gadget. I believe I got this one from AliExpress, and it's a board for testing USB cables. You just plug in this USB-C cable for power, and then you can test any combination between the top row and the bottom row, so between the USB-A, C, lighting and the micro USB. And if you see all the LEDs shining, that's the cable you want to keep. If you only see the VCC and the ground, that's the power cable, and I hate those cables. And of course, in any other case, that's the bad cable. And I keep this board around all the time, because if something is not working, it might as well be a bad USB cable. Moving on to the next item, it's time for something small and cute, and that is this Pimoroni Bearable Series badge. It has colorful LEDs, you can put it anywhere, and you can even switch between different light patterns using the button. 
And then if you want to expand it a little bit, you can get the motion sensor or the light sensor to control those lights and you connect it using this conductive thread, which is definitely an unusual way how to connect electronic devices. And we are at the end of the list and there is only one item that's missing and that's the Arduino Uno. Despite being 10 plus years old, it's still my favorite board just because it's very easy to use. That said, I would not suggest this as a gift because, I mean, it doesn't look very nice, but there is a special version of the Arduino Uno called the Arduino Uno Limited Edition and you can get it in this very nice package. The actual board is very small and it looks more like some kind of jewelry. I mean, it's still a fully functional Arduino Uno board. I have used that in my project, but even if you don't use it, it can still sit on your shelf or on your desk. And that's it. If you have any ideas for gifts, something that you plan to buy or you would like to get, please let me know in the comment section. I would be very interested to see some new and interesting gadgets. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Thanks and bye.